Hello, I'm Elena, and uh, today I would like to talk about uh, light migration for beehive. Uh, this is still work in progress, so we don't have uh, anything uh, uh, to review on this indicator, for example. So, uh, I, would like, I would like to uh, present all the work I was uh, doing in the last year. Uh, in the last uh, Asia BSD con, I was uh, uh, in the state when we had two identical hosts that would uh, share uh, the same list. So, what was the first point for uh, the migration? We would uh, run a virtual machine on one of the hosts suspend its state on the disk and then restore on the other uh, um, host. Then we uh, thought about implementing something, uh, let's say, warm migration when uh, we uh, connected the two hosts uh, with a socket. So instead of uh, saving uh, data to file, we were sending data uh, through socket and uh, receive it on the other host and uh, restore the state. Um, for the migration, we have two main points, uh, two main parts. The first one is uh, uh, the state save restore mechanism that uh, we use for uh, restoring the state and uh, the memory. Uh, well, uh, since we want something live, the memory shouldn't be migrated uh, very fast. So uh, an approach would be migrating uh, the mi memory in rounds. So for mi migrating the memory, we had uh, tried two approaches. The first one uh, was uh, trying to set the, uh, the memory as copy and write and to copy in each round the uh, pages that were different. And uh, the other one is a dirty bit approach that uh, uses a dirty bit to uh, keep the track of the pages that were modified since the last round. So. Uh, the copy and write approach, as I previously said, uh, was trying to uh, make the guest memory as copy and write, the VM object that represents uh, the guest memory, and then uh, to copy the shadow pages um, uh, from one host to another. But this um, approach failed to do a dual view of the guest memory. Um, I will talk about this uh, in the presentation uh, for HGBSD Um And since the time is limited, I'm, I'm not going to enter this uh, part since the approach failed. Uh, the second approach we tried was to uh, set the pages, uh, the guest pages dirty when a uh, right uh, operation occurred on that page. Then uh, we would only uh, copy the dirty bit. Um, so, uh, in the current implementation, we have uh, the light migration working under some uh, certain circumstances. Uh, one of the circumstances would be that the guest memory is wired because otherwise we uh, can't access the pages that were not allocated. Um, or that are swapped. Uh, the guest, uh, for now, the, uh, we only save the low memory segment, so the guest uh, should be uh, should have less than three gigabytes of uh, RAM. And uh, we couldn't find a way of uh, cleaning the dirty bit uh, after uh, each migration round. Uh, I'm trying to implement this, but uh, it's not this that easy as it may sound. In the next uh, uh, period of time, I would like to uh, find a way of clearing the dirty bit and then to extend the migration uh, for the Hyman segment too and uh, uh, to extend uh, the migration to non-wired paste so it uh, would work in a on uh, circumstances. And also I would like to add a mechanism to detect the number of migration rounds uh, dynamically. Um, I would like to thank, thank uh, thanks uh, Matthew Jones for uh, his financial support and also John Biden and uh, Mark Johnston for their uh, um, 
technical uh, support that helped me a lot of uh, uh, bringing the project uh, as it is today. Um, I would like to know if you have any questions for me regarding the live migration feature and the OA. Uh, yes? Um, you said you're going to do a Uh, it should you? it should work on both, but I only test it on uh, Intel. Okay. I didn't test it uh, on AMD CPUs. Okay, so the ability to do it on the Intel is just the... No, 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 it's a uh, built in uh, VM page, in the virtual uh, okay, so page. In, in, the, okay. in a virtual okay. page. Okay. That, that is based on the modified bit, but uh, I don't... Uh, um, have something uh, um, specific for Intel or for AMD. I only use the virtual memory, virtual memory subsystem from QBSD. Okay, that's what, that's what I was going to think about doing it that way. We were thinking about going down the route of doing highly Yes, and the, it's only for Intel. Yes, uh, yes. I uh, I've uh, checked this, and uh, I wanted to have something for both AMD and uh, Intel. Right, and I think that approach will probably would logically work with other CPUs as well, because it's just kind of rotation and whatnot. Yes, yes. Okay. If I think of anything else, I'll I'll take it. Down. Yes. Thank you. Any other question? Okay, uh, so I'd uh, like to invite Sergio to talk about uh, his work.